I think I've got the meandering tool um, hearts figured out. Um, I'm not sure if that's the way Chan Gear did it, but here we go. So I start off with a straight line faintly scribbled through the middle or the, of the project. You can start at one side if you want to, but I think in this case a straight line is what you want. Okay, so then I'm going to place my meander tool, which looks like that. And this one is D444. And it's got an S on the end. Huh, okay. Alright, so I'm going to put that with each, with diagonally, diagonal corners on that straight line. So, there's my first impression. Uh, let me find it, let me find it, there we go. And it lies in a diagonal way on that straight line. Now, the subsequent ones do the same on that straight line. I touch the tips and I place the tip furthest away again on the straight line. And that's how I make the first row. In this case I'm working on a fairly thin leather. So I have another thin leather underneath it that imitates thick leather so that this sharp little tool does not go right through. It thinks it's working on a thick leather. Okay, so there is my first line of impressions. Okay, now it's a case of just figuring it out. Um, I'm going to come back with that line and what I do first um, is orientate the tool. So I had one straight edge running like this now I'm going to turn the tool so that the straight ledge forms the tip of the heart. Okay. Now I don't know where it ha where it is supposed to aim, what angle to have it as at. So to get that angle, I know it's going to be that distance from that point because I'm going to put them all like that. So I'm just faintly make a small little mark you can just see it right there that gives me the distance from that tip to where now I know when I put the next one down it's got to aim at that point and sure enough if I connect those two lines now You'll see that is what happening. Now I'm angling the tool here because I don't want to go outside of that border of mine. <clears throat> but now all subsequent ones will be using that spacing. So there we go. And then the next one going to be the kind of the same thing. They're going to run facing the way the original ones faced. This tool turned the way the original ones was turned. So now I place one there and one there. And that gives me that distance. Or where to aim this tool at, where that end will be, will be there. So... Then you'll see that those two fit fairly well. Now here's my big disclaimer. Um, 
I know there was talk about that. I have gone way off now. Um, I'm not a perfectionist, so those of you who are perfectionists, haha, <laughs> have at it. Uh, you can have fun with this now. Um, let's see how perfect you can get these hearts. Mine has. Kind of gone off, offline a bit there, unfortunately. So, but that's the basic idea that you run one line this way, one line that way. So again, now coming down with this line, I want to know at what angle this one should lie. I'm not, or the next one rather, somewhere there. And to know where to aim it, I get the distance by making a mark there. And then I know where this is aimed at. It'd be nice if somebody could come up with, I'm sure Chan Gear did this. I saw it somewhere in a magazine and I'm sure that must have been Chan Gear who said how to do this and it'd be nice to see how he says that you do this spacing thing or the orientation it's kind of self-orientating but there must be an, a more surefire way than what I'm doing to get them all to line up well um You see, um, main thing in this case now is that um, I hope some of you will be inspired to try lots of new things with this. And there's the basics done. Now, and this is just an, another uh, loose tip here. Um, I like uh, when I do a background of any sorts, do the background, but I don't go over the edge. And then I simply take, um, let's do a big one in this case, take a camo tool. And what I do, I put place the inside curve that inside of the curve I place on my line so that it points into the design so let me do one and I'll show you what I mean okay there you can see uh -huh, where am, where's the camera looking at there we go um, there you can see so that inside curve there is what I place on the line. So these radials of the camo tool overstamps the background itself. Um, but that way I have no line showing that original uh, circle that I drew within which I do the background that stays, gets obliterated now by the camo tool. What I like about this is that it makes that background look as though it's been inset into the leather, um, especially if you color it with a different color than the rest of the piece. Come on. Okay.
and there we go all done and those little hearts done with the meandering tool and just if you want to see again make sure what this meandering tool looks like um, its impression is that there okay usually usually it is used like this between two lines and it causes a zigzag pattern to develop so if you have it between lines but hey think outside the box um, okay any questions write them down below this and I'll see if I can get to answer it